We're always looking to see where the frontiers of science um, are generating amazing new innovation because that's where the seeds of technological surprise are going to be. And in biology today, we're getting those signals about what's going to be possible from neuroscience as we develop new ways to understand the brain and to repair damage to the brain, but also in the future enhance what we're able to do with our brains. And Amazing we, things are going to come out of that kind of work. Yeah. You don't, you, you, can you even imagine what could come out well, of it? Well, we're, we're starting to be able to imagine it. One of our programs a few years ago, uh, uh, one of our programs was revolutionizing prosthetics, and it set out to give our wounded warriors who had lost limbs in these terrible, violent incidents overseas, we wanted to give them a better option than a simple hook. Uh, which had been the standard of practice for decades. And so the second part of what he did was start understanding neural signaling from our motor cortex. What are the signals that, that allow us to control our limbs? That work culminated in human trials in the last few years. And in particular, one of our uh, wonderful volunteers is a woman named Jan. She's a quadriplegic but uh, she's had these implants now on her motor cortex, two tiny little chips that pick up her neural signals, and she uses her thoughts to control this sophisticated mechanical arm. Now, it's so exciting to think about what kind of restoration we can do with that for people who have lost their ability to, to control a limb or have lost a limb, but of course it also opens this other door because now we can go directly from the brain into the mechanical world and and that's you know i think it's it's exciting and terrifying to think about what's on the other side and we're going to have to give we as a society are going to have to think hard about where we want to go what is terrifying about it let's us imagine a future possibly where there are ways to be able to do that kind of pickup of neural signaling fine detailed pickup of neural signaling without having to use surgical techniques and if we got to that future you could imagine, you know, imagine a pilot flying a plane instead of having a neural signal that tells him how to control um, the, the, right. the controls through his limbs. Imagine if he was able to eliminate that latency and fly the plane directly. From um, his brain. Right. That's, that's the part that sounds exciting, but once, once you can do but that... But that also sounds also, a little scary. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I think that's the nature of these leading edge technologies is they create, we pursue them because of their promise, but they also, we know that they're gonna pose really interesting and important challenges for us as a society.